When Chapman Billy's leave the streets and do see neighbours, neighbours meet. As market days are wearing late and folk begin to tart the gate, as we sit boozing at the nappy, getting foo and uncle happy, we think not the long Scot smiles, it's mosses, water, slaps and styles that lie between us and our home, where sits your sulky, sullen dame, gathering our brows like gathering storms, nursing our wrath to keep it warm. This truth, fond honest Tam O'Shanter, is he for air he nicht did canter, all dare wam near a tune passes, for honest men and bonny lasses. O oh, Tam, had thou but been so wise as ta nine wife Kate's advice. I told thee, will thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blethum, that free November till October, I mark it the thou was na sober, that I'll come elder with the mother, thou sat as long as thou had silla, that every nag was called a shoon, the smith and thee got roaring foon, that at the lady's house, even on Sunday, Thou drank with Captain Jean till Monday. I prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catched with warlocks in the mick by Alloway's old haunted kick. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me grief to think how many counsels sweet. How many length and sage advices the husband for the wife despises. But to her tale, a market night, Tam had got planted, uncle right, fast burning on, blazing friendly, with Raymond Swats that drank the vinely, and at his elbow, suitor Johnny, his ancient, trusty, truthy crony. Tam lewed him like a very brother. They'd been few for weeks together. The night drove on with songs and clatter, and I the ale was going better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious with secret favours, sweet and precious. Outside the wind might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind the storm a whistle. Came mad to see a man so happy, e'en drowned himself amongst the nappy. His bees flee home with lades of treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious. Or all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppy spread. He sees the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls on the river, not one moment white, then gone forever. Or like the borealis race that flits in, you can point its place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, it vanishing amidst the storm. Nay, man, can tear a time, a tide. The hour approaches. Tam and right. That hour of night's black arts the key stain, that dreary hour torments his beast in, and sick and nicht he tax the road, and his ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twould blow on its last, the rattling storms roared through the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed loud, deep and lang, the thunder bellowed. That night, a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Well mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted like Tam, scalp it on through dub and mire, the spies of wind and rain and fire, whilst hunting fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, whilst clowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares, Kirk Calloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hullets nichtly cry, but this time he was cross the fort, where in the snow the chapman smart, and past the burk and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie Blacknecks bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters fund that murder bairn, and by the thorn about the well, where Mungo's mother hanged herself, before him doon poured all her floods, the Dublin storms roared through the wood, the lightning flashed from pole to pole, near and more near the thunder rolled, and then, Glimmering through the golden trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a blaze. Through Elka board, the beams were glancing, and loud resounding mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what danger thou will make us scorn. With Tippany, we fear the evil Ushkabe, we'll face the devil, the swat say reamed in Tammy's noddle. Fair play, he kept the deals aboard, but Maggie stood, rest there astonished till, by the hand and heel admonished, she ventured forward, and like, wow! Ta 
Samson, Uncle Sick, witches and warlocks in a dance, Nicotillion Brent New Fay France, but hornpipes, jigs, strathbees and reels put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick. In shape a beast, a towsy tyke, black, grim and large. To give the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them skirl, to roof and rafters all the dirl. Coffin stood round, like open presses, and showed the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrips like each in its cold hand, held a lick by which a hero Tam was able to see upon a hilly table a murderer's banes in gibbet urns, to a spanler we and christened bairns, a thief you cut it for the rape, with his last gasp his gab did gape, five tomahawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter that a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son, a life bereft. The grey hairs yet stuck to the heft, and mere a horrible and off that even to name would be unlawful. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they clicked till Elka, Carlin, Swa, and Rika, and kissed her to the wark, and link it in her sack. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, had they been queens? All plump and strapping in their teens. Their sacks, instead of creasy flannel, being seventeen hundred snow white linen, their breeks of mine, my only pair, that once were plush of good blue hair, I would have given them off my hearties for a blink of the bonny birdies. But with our beldrums, old and draw, ringwoody hag would spin a full loupin and flinging on a crummet, I wonder didn't he turn my stomach? But Tam Kent, what was what through brawly? There was a winsome wench, and Wally, that nicht enlisted in the corner. Long after Kent and Carrick show, for many a beast the dead she shot, and perished many a bonny boat, and shook both meekle corn and bear, and held the countryside in fear. Her cutty sat, a paisley harm, that was a lassie she had worn, and longitude, though sorely scanty, was her best, and she was vaunting. Ah. Little Kent, her reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa pun scots, twas all riches, would our grace, the dance of witches. But here my muse, her wingman curl, sick flights as far beyond her power, to sing how nanny lap and flan, a supple jade she was, and strang, and how Tam stood his hand bewitched, and thought his very een enriched, even Satan glowered and fidged, who fain and watched and blew with micht and main, till first he came up, sign another, Tam tint his reason all together, and yelled out, well done, cutty sark, and an innocent all was done. But scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees bazook with angry fight, when plundered herds assailed their right, as open pussy's mortal foes would pop, she starts before the nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds about, so Maggie runs, the witches fall, with many an elder screech and hollow, oh, O Tam, O oh, Tam, thou'll get thy fearin', in hell thou roast thee like a heron, in vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate soon will be a woeful woman. But do thy speedy up, must make to make the keys stand at the brink. There thou at them thy tail may toss, a running stream, they dare not cross. But ere the keys stand she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake, for Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little was she Maggie's mettle, a spring brought off her master here, and left behind her own grey tail. The carlin clocked her by the rock, and left her Maggie, scarce a stone. Now, who this tale of truth shall read? Help man and mother son, take heed. If he are to drink, you are inclined. Or cut his sacks run in your mind. Think, you may buy the joys our dear. Remember, Tamashan does bear.